Today I'm going to be holding the mic like this. It kind of makes me look like a news presenter, but hey, it is what it is. If you are someone who uses their phone to record YouTube videos or any kind of talking heads without lights or any heavy professional gear, in this video I'm going to be showing you three ways in which you can make your videos turn from this into this. Stick around. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro, but you can use any other editing software. The first thing that you want to do, which is kind of obvious, but which is also something that a lot of people mess up or overlook altogether, which is color grading. But to be more specific, skin tones. You can see in this video that I showed you, this was shot on an iPhone 12 and it's indoors and it's understandable because there are no lights and all of that but my skin is a little bit on the yellowish side so you'd want to use the lumetri color to correct this you want to jump into your curves and adjust especially if you want to adjust certain colors the the curves are going to be really good i did an in-depth video for color grading for beginners so if you want to check that out you can hit the link up above here i mean look at the difference before and after color grading completely different the second thing that you want to do is make your subject your focus point and in this case, the subject is me. Since I didn't have an actual professional light, we wanna fake a light source that is illuminating me, the subject, and not the rest of the room or the footage. To do that, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer above my footage, and then I'm gonna add a lumetri color effect to that adjustment layer. Take down a bit of the exposure, a bit of the highlights, and a bit of the shadow. And then after that, in the effect controls panel, under the lumetri color section you create a mask and then you want to draw a circle and sort of match the light source in the footage as you can see there was light coming from the right side and then you raise the feather maybe up to about 500 and then you invert this so that it's affecting everything apart from your circle or the subject it's a small effect but it actually helps your audience to be more focused on the subject and not the rest of the clip before it was equally exposed but now the subject is a little bit more exposed than the rest of the frame and then the third thing that you can do is fake background blur so if you've got an iphone 13 this probably doesn't apply to you because you've got cinematic mode we get it but for everyone else you can use this method to sort of fake cinematic mode it's not going to be perfect but hey cinematic mode is also not that perfect we're also going to add an adjustment layer above and then in the effects panel type in gaussian blur and then drag and drop that on the adjustment layer that you've added on the top and then in the effect controls panel under the gaussian blur section you create another mask but this time around we're going to use the bezier tool and then in your program monitor you just want to zoom out so that you can see outside the box of your footage and then you draw a rough mask around your subject which again in this video it's me it doesn't have to be perfect and you can always edit this later also feather it out just a little bit and then you click on inverted again so that it affects everything but your subject and then you increase the blur i'm going to put it just a little bit over 30 let's say 35 thereabouts we have blurred out the background this is the before and this is the after you can see there's a major difference there it's not perfect and i say this because if i were to move away from the center or away from the mask that i drew then it's not going to follow me which is the difference between this and your cinematic mode and the iphone 13 because it's going to continuously keep you in focus and keep the background out of focus but this works fine if you have a talking head or it's a youtube video like this one where i'm not necessarily moving drastically away from the center and i am talking the entire time remember this is where we started and this is where we are just applying these three things i hope this video was helpful if it was please let me know and thank you for sticking around if you enjoy my videos and you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing we need a thousand subs we're almost there we're almost there we are almost there thank you for sticking around until next time